What's up, what's up, everybody? I'm Dave Ost here from Most Valuable Podcast, bringing you the San Francisco 49ers draft team needs. As you know, your team sucks. You don't have a quarterback. You just picked up the trash of the Chicago Bears at quarterback. So, honestly, when it comes to that number two pick, you might be tempted to take a quarterback. It kind of seems like the obvious move. You go after someone like Mitch Trubisky, who, yeah, he's got a lot of upside, but we've only seen such a small fragment of his play so it makes you wonder, is he a great long-term solution? Is it enough to use that number two pick on? And you know what? I feel like because of the circumstances this year, even though they're not the best quarterbacks we've seen in the last couple of years, you have to pull the trigger on it. You have to push the button, pull the trigger, whichever one you want to do. It, it's got to be Mitch Trubisky. And unfortunately, that's because the run of quarterbacks in the first round, if it doesn't start with you, you're going to get screwed because by the, stop, by the top of the second round, I don't think you're going to have anybody there you want. You might be stuck with someone like a Brad Kaya, and I, I just don't foresee that being the future of the 49ers. So I think you play this, do the smart thing here, take Trubisky, and use him as the, you know, guided under the, the knowledge of uh, someone like Hoyer. God, that's just insulting to say. But I think that going forward, he could be an excellent quarterback. There's a reason he's this high up. There's so much upside for this kid. And that leads me to your second pick. Start of the second round, I think you go for someone who is a supreme athlete in Jabril Peppers. This kid can play anywhere on the field. He is so diverse with his talents. The problem is people are like, oh, but now he doesn't have a true position. Look, it's up to you to decide where he goes. He can be an offensive weapon. He can be a fantastic kick returner for you. But I think what will bring the most help to your team is that secondary help. I think what he can bring to you is someone who will be able to cover from sideline to sideline in that secondary. I know he's undersized for a... For an outside linebacker, but a strong safety spot, just point him in a direction, let the man roam and play. I really like him coming over there, which unfortunately means that your team still needs more help in that secondary because while he's not a great cover guy, you have great, you have okay corners right now. And I'm thinking at this point, we just go for best player available. And this draft is deep at corner. So my opinion is take the best available corner and just Get, get some talent. Look, this is not a one-year plan. You don't need to get better. You don't need to beat the world tomorrow. You're not going to compete for a championship. Go take the best player available at that third pick and really set yourself up for a strong future going forward. Honestly, if you could do one thing to make this all better, it would be trade back out of that second overall pick, but I'm not sure that you'll get a great deal for it. If you could, you'd be, you'd be setting yourself up for a better future. Maybe if you go mid-teens, late-teens, get someone with like a Taco Charlton would fit your team perfectly, but... I think where you're at, you're still setting yourself up for a wonderful 2017 year. And let me know what you guys think down below. I'm sure you don't totally agree with what I'm telling you, but I want to hear. I want to I wanna hear that feedback from you. If you want to check out any other draft need videos, they're somewhere over there. Thanks for watching.